Okay. I just want to review in short what we began to make sure we have the picture clear. We begin the parsha that Parshat Emor talks about 63 mitzvot. And also we began talking about that Parsh talks about Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot. And then Korban Omer. Then we spoke about how much Omer you give. You give only on three fingers. Kimitza. <clears throat> how much it will be? 10 cents? 15 cents? Out of few kilos that you collect. And then we spoke about how you have to raise Omer. When you raise before sacrificing, you push away all the bad things from the world. Then we spoke about on Shavuot, you bring, I'm sorry, on Pesach, you bring, you sacrifice barley, and on Shavuot, you sacrifice wheat. Why barley on Pesach, and why Shavuot wheat? Because we didn't have Torah, we compared to animals, and now Shavuot, we have a Torah, we compare to people. Also, on Pesach, you bring one korban, and on Shavuot, you bring seven sheep, <coughs> one cow, and two rams. Okay, 10. Then we spoke about how Nesiyim bring Korban, and by them it says, Shivim Shekel, Beshekel HaKodesh. They have to bring sacrifice of 70 shekels, in holy shekels. Then Rokeach asking a question, where you got number 70 from? Why 70? And he says, because detachment from Hashem was with number 70, so attachment has to be also number 70. So what's detachment? From the creation of the world, when you look at Bereshit, you count 70 psukim, and the 70th pasuk it says what? Arurata mikola be'ema. You should be cursed from all the animals. Hashem curses the snake. Hashem curses the snake. That caused detachment in the world. Then we spoke about how snake has two parts. The head and the tail. The head of the snake is the snake itself. And the tail of the snake is Haman Arasha. So one second. Who said to you that you have to connect these two together? Who said? Where it says that you have to connect them two together? Because in the whole creation, the only two Seslav Pinchas in Midrash that were suffered, that were punished after 70 sentences is only snake and only Haman. These two creations were punished after 70 sentences. How? Creation of the world was the beginning of everything. And 70 sentences later, snake got cursed. Haman. It says like this. When you open <clears throat> Megillat Esther, in Megillat Esther, Achashverosh is raising Haman. And after these things, Gidala Melech et Haman ben Amedata Ha'agagi. Achashverosh raised up Haman. He's the chief. Everyone must bow down to him. Stop. Let's count. Count over there 70 sentences. Count over there 70 sentences. And you will get to what? Vaitlu Oto Ala Etz. And they hung him on the tree. And they hung him on the tree. How many? 70 sentences. One Mefaresh, I don't have his name. I'll tell you the truth. He says something very deep. He says not only from the creation of the world until... The curse of the snake, there is 70 sentences, not only 70 sentences. Also, there are 70 times name of Hashem mentioned. 70 times Hashem's name was mentioned in the Bereshit. Open Bereshit, count Hashem's names, and you will see after 70 times Hashem cursing the snake. Question is why number 70? That is the time, that is the point of today. Gemara in Megillah asking, Haman mina Torah minayen. 
Where do we learn out Haman from the Torah? That rotten apple will appear. You know, Torah, anytime sees Amalek, Rasha, Torah right away asking a question. He says, where does this appear from? Where did he come from? Of course everyone is in the Torah. Of course. But Haman mina Torah minayan. From where do we know the source of Haman? From the Torah. So Gemara says, Hamina et. Hashem said, Adam, eat from every tree. But from this tree you cannot eat. So what's the comparison from him to Haman? The answer is, Adam had all the trees in the world. But he wants Badafka this tree. Haman had everyone bow down to him. But he wants Badavka, who to bow down? Mordechai. And Badavka, by purpose, Mordechai doesn't bow down to him. Why Mordechai doesn't bow, doesn't bow down to him? This is what we are discussing today, based on Hashem. You could unmute yourselves for 10 seconds. Please translate to me the word af. What means af? There's many meanings. What means af? Guys, what means af? Af means? Oh, Yakub of brothers. Thank you. Also, also. Af means anger. And af means also. Now you could mute it. Now mute. And look what it says over here. <coughs> thank you, Michal. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm making you like dirigeur, you know, but you know me. You know me. Sorry. <laughs> Af is a very big word. Midrash says how two people were cursed, 70, 70, only two in the world, Snake and Haman. Same thing. There's only four people in the world. Begin the statement with the word Af. They became nobody and they got destroyed. I'm not going to say for how long they'll remain destroyed. That's not the point of sure today. That's sure for itself. But four in the world, four people, began the statement with Af, got wiped out. Who are these people? Number one, snake. When Hashem said to Chava, don't eat, Snake came and said, Av, Amar, Elohim, eat. Also, Hashem said, don't eat. Also, and he made him to sin. Hashem said, you said also, you'll destroy. Av, you also will be destroyed. Next one, Sarofim, the chief of the bakers. When Yosef Atzadik was in a dream, when uh, was in a jail, two people saw dreams. That was... Baker and a butler. So butler, you know, there's a midrash. Nobody calls this midrash. When Yosef Sadiq said, guys, what dreams for Hashem to explain? Tell me the dream. The butler said to Yosef, really? Listen, you seem like a nice, intelligent man. I think you know it, but I want to tell you my dream. He wanted to begin the baker quieting down. He said, you, what do you know? You're a kid. You're, you're poor, low, you nobody, you, you're a Jew, get out of here. I should tell you my dream. He put Yosef down. This is why he got punished. If you know originally why he got punished, this was the, this was the source. He made Yosef like, you nobody. You're going to tell me my dream? Who are you? What do you think you are? Yosef said, no problem, I'm not going to deal with you. Then Yosef started explaining the dream of the butler. The baker he says, I also saw in my dream. Ah, Shen says, first you put him down, then you say, off, now you're done. You start off, also you'll be wiped out. This is the second point. Second person. The third one is Korach. When he went against Moshe Rabbeinu, then he spoke about Eretz Yisrael also. He says, Af Eretz. Zavat, Chalavud, Vash. Then he starts speaking about bed, about land. Hashem said, you said, Af, you're also done. So now, snake. 
Baker, Paro, uh, Korach, three. And the fourth one is who? Haman. Haman. What he says? Aflo hevi malka. Yeah? Even Esther did not call me yesterday, but also today. Do you know there is a world of talk why Esther made the two-day party? If you called him for one day, give him Osh Palo. Why are you calling for a second day to give him Oshi Bach? Huh? One day party is not enough? Why are you calling for a second day? Did you ever think about it? Why are you calling for a second day? What has to do with number two, a second day? Why? We'll get to this today. Guys, you have no idea. I feel Yosef Akilov is back. Month and a half I was off. Hashem like switched me off. I don't know why. I don't, uh, I don't know. But Baruch Hashem, I see you shoot. In life, everything comes down. Midat Adin going down. Now goes life of openings. But take the connection of Hashem that you had the whole month and a half with you. And carry it with you. You understand? That's the main goal of everything. Are you asking me why people left the world? It's you asking about uh, economics from cockroach. Who, who, who am I to tell you this? I don't know Hashem's Chesh Bonot. I don't know. But because of those giants, we are safe. Because they are holding the world. We cannot talk about them. We don't know this. Each rabbi passed away was one bigger than the other. How many people Rav Mordechai met Choser Bichuba? I don't even have so much hair in my body. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Any Yeshua's he made, he made sure five, ten people took on themselves to keep Shabbat. Five people took on themselves not to go to sleep before they do Teshuvah. It's, it's a big thing. How many Shurim Rav Walking gave? How many Shurim different rabbis gave? How many Shurim rabbis who taught in Yeshiva gave? And they left the world? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But, Baruch Hashem, we see the end of the tunnel. In a few days, we'll be by the end of the tunnel. It's going to be over. Why? The power of Haman is being nullified. The 70th day is coming soon and it's going to be destroyed. Now let's go further. What's with number 70? Why 70 psukim then cursed? Why? The answer is the worst thing you can do to yourself, I can do to myself, is put my whole life to follow after my eyes. When my whole essence of who am I following my eyes, I became too tense. I became nobody. This is when person becomes nobody. You know how many rich Israelis I knew who used to learn by Rabbi Pinto 18, 19 years ago, 17 years ago, who showed me the tall, tall buildings because he went once after his eye, lost the whole building and lost his family. Why? Followed his eye. Because... Chava looked at the tree and said, Ah, nechmad hu layanaim. It's so delicious for the eyes. What happened? Death came to the world. Hashem said, Ain. It's a heart crucial thing. I, gimatria ain, 70. You snake making Chava follow the eye. You will be punished because of the eye on the 70th Pasuk, which is Gimatria Ayin. Ayin. Ay, Ayin. Ayin. Gimatria what? 70. 70. Today I'll tell you deeper Kiddush. When Adam was created, how many years Hashem gave him leave? Ah, huh? text to me. I know how to read a little bit in English. Uh, how many years Hashem gave Adam to live? Adam, Harishon, how many years you should have lived? Text. Brothers, where are you? Throw four numbers, no? Oh, thank you. 
Rab Hevel, thank you. Rab Yosef, thank you. Thousand years. Aleph. One thousand years. Today, today. Tehelim, we read, yeah? Yemesh notenu ba'em. How many years? Today, how many years we have? Normal life, average. What's that? Mike Janashvili, thank you. Shivim Shana, 70 years. Hashem said, Ay, Adam. You followed your eyes. Eventually, person's life will fall down to 70 years only. 930 got cut. We have only 70 years lifespan. Why? Because we follow the eye. This is how deep we fell. Let's go further. Let's go further. Tell me, holiday Purim has anything to do with number 70 or no? What's the main Purim mitzvah? Chayav Adam Liebe Liebe Sume Person must drink what? Kanyak? Vodka? No. Drink what? Wine. Rav Gavriel Aminov. Thank you. Person must drink wine. Why a person has to drink wine? Huh? Because wine is gimatria. Yain. Gimatria 70. You know what? Wine comes in. What comes out? Nichnas yain. Yotze sod. Wine comes in, secrets come out. Why? Because wine, Gimatria Ya in 70, Sod, secret, Samech, Vav, 60, and then 6, and then Dalet, 4. 66 and 4, 70. So when wine comes in, secrets come out. Nichnas Yain, Yotze Sod. But why put him 70? Because Haman followed his eye. He wanted not everybody to bow down, but Mordechai Badavka bow down. And Mordechai said, no, no. Why Mordechai didn't bow down? We'll get to this today. Please let me know if you're boring so far, so I'll change the topic. Or if you're fine. You're fine? We'll continue. Let's go further. Let's go further. I see your thumbs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go further. You know, usually in shul, when I talk, two, three people ask questions, it becomes life. Here, I feel like, you're not asking questions, or maybe you're blowing up to ask questions. Somebody just mute you down. It's not me. You gotta. I'll give you the address later. Then you'll take care of me. You understand? Okay. Let's go first. Let's go first. I'm sorry. No, 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 don't, 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 don't close it, please. Sorry, sorry. No jokes. Let's go further. Now, now. How many days in a year you have happy days, holidays? How many? Huh? Text to me. I know how to read. How many days you have happy days? Happy, happy. Ah, rest days. Not in America, in Israel. How many? 70. You have in a year 70 days to knock down 70 power of Haman. How is this 70? Let's count together. Eight days Sukkot. Eight. Seven days Pesach, seven Pesach, eight Sukkot, we got 15 days. One day Shavuot, according to the Torah, one day Rosh Hashanah, one day Yom Kippur. So now, you had 15, one, 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 three. So 18, 18 days, and you have, to, and you have 52 days Shabbatot. 52 and 18, you got 70. 70 days in a year you rest to undo the power of Haman. Tom's book, everybody knows this sefer, I have somewhere in the back of me over there. Nachal Eshkol, who wrote it? Rabbi Chaim Yosef David Azulai, Chida. And Chida says, the greatness of Haman was only 70 days. Haman became chief after 70 days. They were looking for my brother. Why they were looking for my brother? Yoshev Beset Elion Betzel Shaddai To do 49 exit, okay? Haman. And they took care of him. I mean, they took him on 49 exit on the other side, not, not in the Jewish side. You know? 
I don't say garbage can, but you understand, you understand. So what happens now? Haman al-Rasha, he became chief. 70 days later, he was Niftar. He was hung. Everybody said, everyone has to bow down to Haman. Why? Kichen tziva lo hamelech. Because so, king commanded to him. Kichen tziva lo hamelech. So commanded to him, you could look at it both ways. So commanded, everybody should bow down. Or so commanded, chen gimatria chaf and nun. Chaf is 20, nun is 50, 70. In 70 days, Hashem will take care of him. 70 days, Haman will be gone. That is first answer. And second answer is, I told you 1,055 times. Today is 1,056 times. My name is Yosef, there is a reason for it. Your name is Yitzchak, there is a reason for it. Your name is Yaakov, there is a reason for it. Your name is Abraham, there is a reason for it. Why Haman's name was Haman? Because there is a reason that he was the original head that was cursed after 70. Psukim. And he will be king right now, second to the king, that will be hung after 70 Psukim. And after 70 days as well. How? Memu Khan. Haman's name was Memu Khan. Memu Khan. Memu Khan. Khan stands for 70. He stays here until 70. After 70, he's going to be gone. He's not here anymore. Therefore, Esther. Remember I told you why she made the second day party? Esther was very smart. She was a wife of who? Gadolador. Mordechai was one of the Sanhedrins, one of the big rabbis, judges. How many judges were all together? How many judges we had? 70. Mordechai said, I am part of 70. This guy has to live only 70 days after he's a chief. So therefore, you, Esther, when you make a one party, you have to make another party. Why? Because the first party is on the 69th day. Only second party will make it 70 days. Only second party will make 70 days. And only then we'll be able to put Haman in the place where they were supposed to be. And then coronavirus will be also gone. But it's not a shame. Simple. Push it. Push it. Therefore, Esther made another day party because it was only 69 days. So Esther, what Esther said, guys, you think Torah is a joke? Uh, whatever we breathe, Torah has. Already said, already repeated, we read thousand times, which sometimes we don't pay attention. But Torah has everything. Torah has from A to Z everything written, solid, signed. Everything is in the Torah. Go over it and go over it. Everything is in it. Let's go. It says like this. Now, Esther prepares people to fast. And she says like this. Gam ani vena arotai. Also me and my girls. Atum ken. We will fast. So. How many days they were fasting? Write down the name, the number. How many days they were fasting? I'm not going to say you're wrong. You're all right. How many days they were fasting? Rav Emanuel, Rav Hevel, thank you. Three days. I don't want to say you were wrong. You are right. You are right. But three days not complete. In three days, how many hours do you have? 72 hours. Reptilion, now you're talking to the point. Where are you, my friend? 70 hours. They were fasting not three days. They were fasting exactly 70 hours. Why? Because this guy, this snake, has powered from creation of the world. And he's seen with the eye. Only power is ayin. 70. After you have 70 hours fast, he's gone. He's gone. Also us. After us being tied up in our houses for 70 days, he's going to be gone. You will look for it, you're not going to find it. Okay? Let's go further. Be'ezad Hashem. 
Rokeach comes and says, now let's stretch a little bit. You guys worked hard. Quarantine, tied you up. Let's play basketball a little bit. Let's count. From 1 to 70. Open Parashat Emor. Open Parashat Emor and go from Pasuk Aleph. Yeah? Emor El, Akoanim, Bnei Aaron, right? <laughs> count 70 Psukim. Count 70 Psukim from Parashat Emor. And you know where you're going to get? You're going to get to Sfirata Omer. But, first go back, trip Psukim. Means from beginning go to 67 Psukim and then retrip Psukim. Trip Sukim start beginning introduction to talk about Omer. Yes, count 70 days from Purim. That's right. This is the day when we were locked up, right? A day before, a day before. I want day early a little bit, you know? So what happens now? What happens now? Rokeach says, last trip Sukim before Omer starts. Last trip Sukim. First Pasuk finishes with letter Nun. If you want, I'll get Chumash. It's going to take four or five minutes for me to find it. You want it? You have one minute to? Or well, I should just say then you trust. If you trust, look inside the Chumash. Uh, okay? Look inside and you will see last three Psukim. First Pasuk finishes with letter Nun Safit. Second pasuk finishes with letter mem, and third one finishes with letter hey. Actually, you know what? Give me a minute. Let me find it. Give me a minute. One second, I'll find it for you. Parashat Emor. We read it on Pesach. Shavuot and Sukkot. One second. Okay. So finishes with Nun Safit. Second, Lechem Lekali, Velechem Vekali Vikarmel, Lot of Lu Adetem Ayamaze, Ada Vahem at Korban and Lohem, Hukadolam Lutrem, Bohom Moshotechem, finishes with letter Mem Safit. So first is Nun Safit, then Mem Safit, Usfaltem, Lachem, then comes to count Omer, right? Mimachoda the Shabbat Mimachet Tomer at Tunfasha Shabbatot, Mot Tiena, finishes with the Hey. So you see from here, sign Nun Safit, Mem Safit, and Hey is. Is Haman. Here is another another hint for Haman says Rokeyach. And these are the last three Psukim. By the way, I counted 70 Psukim, and that was from the 67th Psukim, last three Psukim till 70th. And these are the secrets. Beginning of the parsha, 70 Psukim starts with Omer. Connect to Haman. Stop. 
What Haman has to do with Omer? What Haman has to do with counting of the Omer? You know counting of the Omer was from the beginning of the giving of the Torah. Haman was thousand years later. What's the connection? Listen to this, dear brothers. We're here to learn something very nice. And it's worth it. When did Haman get hung? When did Haman die? Should I tell you when? On the day when we count Omer. Because when three days Mordechai and Esther fasted, that was beginning days of Pesach. The Lela Seder, Mordechai and Esther did not keep. They were fasting. And the second day Pesach, and the second day Pesach, Haman got killed. And that was the day when we start counting Omer. <laughs> One of the opinions why we hide 10 pieces of Hametz and we search for 10 pieces of Hametz because it was negative 10 powers, 10 negative powers that Haman's children had. We're not only doing for the children of Haman, but 10 negative powers that they are in the world to go against Jewish nation all the time. And we undid that power and we destroyed that power. But why that night? Because that night was the beginning of the destruction of Haman. Who knows story good? What day of the year three angels came to Abraham Avinu to bless him for baby boy and to cure him? And one came, Gabriel came to destroy Sodom. Right? When were when these three angels came? Can you write on the chat? When the three angels came to Abraham Avinu's house. Thank you, Rab Havel. Thank you. They came on Pesach. They came on Pesach. And when they came to Lot's house, Lot also made for them matzah. So the question is, when they came that day to, to Avram Avinu, they slept over in Avram Avinu's house, Pesach night. And on the next day, they went where? They went to Lot. And next day after that, on the 16th of Nisan, when we count Omer, what they did? They destroyed Sodom and Amora. Why they to destroy Sodom and Amora at this time? They couldn't find different time of the year. Did you ever look at the word Amora? Sodom, Amora. Change the letters of Amora. Change the letters of Amora will be Ha Omer. Sefirat. We don't say Sefirat Omer. We say Sefirat Ha Omer. Sdom Amora was destroyed. And the counting of the Omer. I want to go further on through the history with you a little bit. History of the Torah, life of Torah. When Yaakov Avinu went to greet Esav and his 400 men, Yaakov Avinu bowed down to Esav. How many times he bowed down? Seven times. Yaakov Avinu bowed down to Esav seven times. Even though he lowered the power of Haman through Esau, it was a little bit like Hilul Hashem. That Tzadik bows down to Rasha. 
It was little bit Chilul Hashem. So Yaakov Avinu prayed and said, Hashem, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Please, send me back to this world. I want to fix myself and not bow down to him anymore. Hashem said, I'll do you that favor. And who is that? Yaakov Avinu comes down to this world as Mordechai. Haman comes down to this world. Who was Esav? Esav comes down to this world as, as, as a Haman. And now he says, as you bow down to me and you gave me your power. By bowing down to me, by doing Chilul Hashem, do this now also. Mordechai says, no, no, no. I already made my mistake then. I want to come here and fix myself. So you learned another lesson here. Everyone who left this world during the corona, they fix certain things about themselves in this world. We don't understand this because these people are giants. But we should look at it that they are fixed, complete, mushlam. And for us to get there, it takes a long journey. Each one that left this world during the coronavirus, look at these people. I know a guy who walked around without keeper. But any Yeshua I saw him, he would never miss answering Amen. And one time, I had to give him speech in Yeshua. He said, I'm sorry, I have to go. I said, why? I, I, have, I have a speech for you. He says, my wife just now called me. She said she doesn't feel well. I want to leave everything. I want to go home. He was 84 years old. Some say 85 years old. 85-year-old man was very careful with answering Amen. He was not religious, was not brought up religious. But Amen, I am a witness. He would answer with a passion. Amen, Amen, Amen. Not religious. I don't know if he kept Shabbat, but Amen, so makhpit. Hashem said, during this time, when Rabbi Akiva's students passed away, when this, I don't know, maybe those rabbis fixing Rabbi Akiva, I don't know. I'll take care this time. Why? You're also part of this group. You're so makhpit to answer Amen. Such a kiddushah he would give. That was shock. That was shock. Ruach Hashem Tanichem Baganadam. So now, we don't have minyanim for now. Soon will be. But even will be, or now, whenever your house holds people, and say, make brachot, say stop. Make bracha loud. I want to answer amen. When your child makes bracha loud and you answer amen, you give energy to your child, your child gives energy to you, and you both give energy to Hashem. To know Ozle Elohim gives strength to Hashem. How you give strength to Hashem? By answering Amen, answering Baruch Hu Shmo. Until all the minyanim open, even after opening. And you know what? Your child will be careful saying brachot properly. A lot of times people just... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Some people say, Bore pri ha... The ants already after swallowing the apple, you know? Happens sometimes. People rush. But when they know you have to answer Amen, they're not going to eat that apple until you answer Amen. And it's very proper chinuch in your house when your children make brachot in front of you and you answer Amen respectfully. And Yaakov Avinu said, Hatzileni na, miyad achi, miyad esav. Hashem, please, save me from my brother, from esav. Hatzileni, the first letter is hey, save me. Na, please, nun, first letter is nun. Miyad, first letter is mem. Hey, nun, mem, haman. Hashem, Please save me now from Esav and my children from Haman. Whenever you pray, now you pray, yeah, Hashem, please take this pandemic away. Yeah, yeah, also pray, also pray, also. Hashem, don't bring things to, during my children's time, during my grandchildren's time, during my great-grandchildren's time. Pray for them. That your children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren should not see this. You know, our parents did not see. 
our parents did not see pandemic, but our grandparents did. 1918 it was. You know what's shocking? Me and my brothers on Sunday, last Sunday, we were in the cemetery by my father. And 10 years ago, we said, what's up there? Let's go up there on Cooper Avenue. We went up there, we saw like thousand young people, thousand. And I said to myself, what is this? Why they passed away? My brother said, oh, maybe plane fell a hundred years ago, plane, quick plane. Bold maybe, how bold they would come, they would bring you in. We didn't understand. But now, when pandemic came out and everybody started talking, 1918, we went on Sunday to visit my, grand my father. My brother said, you know what? Let's see one more time. What's the reason they passed away? And you know what? After looking up on Google, what time was pandemic? One was, uh, we realized they all were people who passed away from pandemic, 1918 and beginning of 1919. Why they died so many people? Because they didn't have medications, they didn't have nothing, they didn't have to, they didn't have no machine, no nothing. No even, I don't know, hospitals, normal hospitals. But bottom line, Baruch Hashem, we got through this. Please, don't take it lightly. Friendship, keep it strong. Don't ignore someone. You ignore someone in the store, go back, say hi. Because this, what stops pandemic, Ahdut. That's the only thing. You know what I'll tell you? Rav Aaron Walkin would always teach us. Rav Aaron Walkin always taught us. Be Ben Adam. A lot of people know a lot of knowledge, but being human being, it's important. It's not theory. It's not book. It's who you are. Be friendly to people, say hi to people, say hello to people, care about people. That is why we are here. That is why we are created. Some people think if I ignore him, it's good. No, it's not good. You lost it. You lost the opportunity. You could have saved somebody's life and you didn't. You lost it. And there's no cure to this. Our job right now, to get achtut as much as we could. Once we are for each other, there is no reason for these diseases, for this man, for these vaccine needs, for the sicknesses, for this hospital. No needed. No needs. There's going to be no room for anything to come in and hurt us. Ahdut is important, important. Don't find reason to hate someone. Find reason to, to love someone. You know, I had arguments within these 10, 15 years of being in America, teachers. I had arguments with many people and I was shocked. Many people that I said something wrong, maybe did something wrong, get phone calls. How are you, Rabbi Kilov? I'm good. How are you? I was like, wow, that was missing. That was wrong. Make peace. So many rabbis, so many friends, so many long-term friends, short-term friends. So, so many people got called, called me. I called them. We realized we were living under fake world. Fake, illusion world. Now is the reality. What's reality? Health, family, friendship, parents, children, life, respect, honor. That's what's important. The rest, waste. And the power of Haman, Purim! Ah, Haman danced again, closed all the synagogues. Closed all the Yeshivot. Closed all the Torah. But that power doesn't last long. Before even Haman was born, we had the medicine against him. Like Shekel. Today, we have what? Shiv'in Shekel Beshekel HaKodesh. 70 days. 70 days, you're gone, Haman. We'll get back to our shuls. But, with the lesson, we're not going to talk in shul. We're going to be Achdud. We're going to care about each other. We're going to care about each other's feelings, not to hurt somebody just to feel good about it. No! We will love each other. We care about each other. We're going to break our pride. We're going to come and say, what do you need? I'm here for you. And that is what we need to have now and what is going to be by Zad Hashem. I want to conclude with the last point because I see some women are here in this group. I want to conclude with one thing.
Do you know what is Omer? It says Gemara in Kiddushin. Leolam! Al tihi mitzvat ha-omer kala be'enecha. Make sure the Omer is not so simple in your eyes. Don't make it disrespectful. Omer is very important mitzvah. Because of Omer, Chizkiyahu HaMelech, Gidon, and no, 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 no. We, we, we got Eretz Israel because of Omer. Avraham Avinu got it Eretz Israel because of Omer. Hashem said, I'll give you land of Israel just for you to bring Korbana Omer to me. But I'll tell you one last thing about Omer before we conclude. Look what Tzfilata Omer does. Omer is with barley. Where do you bring Korban with barley? When woman seemed that she cheated on her husband. Husband doesn't know. She says, I didn't do. There are witnesses that they went inside. What happens? They have to bring Korban. They have to bring Korban. Korban. Minchat orim. Barley. What's barley? Omer. Omer does shalom bait. Omer does shalom bait. When we grab into our shalom bait, and we grab into mitzvah da Omer, Be'ezad Hashem, everything will be gone. Of course, when I said number 70 to my wife, she said to me, why so long? Lag ba Omer and done. Kai. She said, look, lag ba Omer, everything will be gone. You know, I'll tell you one thing. Don't get me wrong. These days when everything was closed, people got really scared. I began getting scared not because stores were closed, because my lungs didn't work properly when I got sick. But Bar Hashem, Hashem returned life to everybody. And today, today, when everyone got text messages saying, tomorrow morning, amazing saving, reopening, I said, ah, Bar Hashem, life is opening again. And in Bezat Hashem, you'll see in one week, two weeks, synagogues will open as well. But I'll tell you one thing. Guys, in life, in life, value few things. I'm talking to myself. Value your family. Value your children. Value your time. Value your happiness. Appreciate things. You know, you'll think I'm weird. I would hear airplanes fly, I would say, thank you, Hashem, Baruch Hashem. Why? If there's no airplanes, it means war. Do you know 9-11, there were no airplanes few days? Do you know when you slept 9-11, every minute and a half, you heard ambulance for two days. This pandemic, you heard for a month. Every minute and a half, every two minutes. It was crazy. Baruch Hashem, Hashem took us out of it. And we are going to have happy days. But don't forget one thing. Remember the moment when you heard somebody close to you passed away? Somebody you knew well passed away? How you got to Hashem? Hashem, please, I beg you. Get me out of this. You felt so connected with Hashem. Keep that connection. Don't let it go. Don't get used to this. Once you have that connection, you'll appreciate every small thing you have in life. And this is where it's coming to. We appreciate it. Every moment going to work. You know, I used to come out sometimes from my classroom, 30 students, I said, I want to choke somebody. But here, you want to find them, you want to give them a hug. Where are you? Come over here. I miss you. I miss teaching you. I miss talking to you. I miss give and take with you. Yes, Zoom. Zoom is good, but not the same. It's not the same. Give and take in a class is not the same like a Zoom. With this Be'ezad Hashem, Hashem should take us out of it. And there's also beautiful Midrash, but I'm going to say it tomorrow or maybe on Sunday. Also, my police officer, we turn to police officer again. Police officers, they give me a hint, like, you know, it's getting too late. People want to sleep. People are exhausted. I know you are. I'm not going to hold you long. Hour and 15 minutes is too much. But if you, three people raise your thumbs, 
I'm going to tell you that Midrash, and I'm going to conclude with this. Three hands. Rav David, Alishai, one. Rav Bachor, two. Rav Gabriel, I have three. Mike Jashvili, four. Arthur Pinchasa, five. That, Rav David, Flishtiev. I, I think it's Rav David. Flishtiev, six. And Rav Yonatan, seven. And we're going. Listen to this. Rav David, Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. I have to stand up for you. Thank you. I want to tell this beautiful Midrash. And I want to finish with it. Beautiful, guys. This Midrash gave me koach today. And we'll give you. I want to give it to you. Look what happens. Rasha is always Rasha. Tzadik is always Tzadik. Mordechai had Tzadik walking in the street. Haman follows him and, like, you know, Padgladuit. How you say Padgladuit? How you say Padgladuit? Let tries to see where Mordechai is going. Mordechai going this street, 108th street, he goes after him. Mordechai goes to 110, he goes after him. Mordechai goes to 112, he goes after him. Suddenly, Mordechai Tzadik sees three small kids come out of the yeshiva. Three small kids come out of the yeshiva. So Mordechai running to them. So what happens now? Mordechai ran. He doesn't know how much is chasing after him. Mordechai runs to the three, three kids, three small kids, like seven, eight years old. They come over from Yeshiva. Mordechai runs to them and says, come over here, guys. I need you. I need you now. Tell me your pasuk. What you learned? Gemara says, when the boy comes out from Yeshiva, seven, eight years old, and you ask him his pasuk, that is prophecy. That is prophecy. So what happened is, Mordechai said to one of the kids, tell me your pasuk. So the kid said to him, Alti rami pachat pitom. Don't be scared. From the sudden fear. She'at. She'et resha'im kitavo. The time for Asha to get destroyed came already. Mordechai said, woohoo. Thank you. Next boy, what did you learn today? He said, Utsu etza vetufar. Dabru davar v'layakum ki Immanuel. Those who had bad uh, thoughts, advices against you, nothing. Those who spoke against you, also nothing. Because Hashem is with us. So don't be worried about that. Don't be so fooled by Corona, Shmarona. Bye! Soon it's going to be gone. Hashem is with us. That's two. And the third one, I led these three guys. I was, I was uplifted today. And I want you to have this with you. Take this power. From tomorrow everything is opening out, guys. Don't listen to this fake news. Go with Hashem. Go with Torah. You see, Hashem gives hint. Why Hashem didn't give me this hint a month ago? Huh? Purim time didn't give me this. Why today? Hashem is talking to every one of us. Open your eyes and read and follow. It says, Ve'ed zikna anihu. Hashem says, during the old age, I'm also there. I am there. Ve'ed seva ani ezbol. And during the old time, I will be also taking, handling it. So basically, Hashem says, Finished. The time came. And now Haman ran after Mordechai. Haman said, no, what did you learn? He said, he said, Haman, you're done. You're done. Why? Because your time came to be finished. And this, we all stand today and say, Corona, time came for you to be gone. And it will be gone and will be all cured. Everyone is sick should be cured. The Fuash Lema to Miriam Batsuri, Rav David, thank you. Your grandmother should be Refuah I said she's mother to all the Bukharian guys. Because if your mother would, wouldn't have give proper advice to her three sons and a daughter to build up Bet Gavriel, if Simcha Alishai, your father, would not build Bet Gavriel, you have no idea how many kids would be lost now. You have no idea how many Shalom Bites this synagogue does today. How many people became religious. How many rabbis came out from there. How many Beit Din students came out from there. It is all one person is one world. And with this zuchut, Hashem should give the fashlema to your mother, to your grandmother. I want to say thank you to everyone, all the rabbis and all the best friends. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. Good night. I'm sorry I took a lot of time from you. But you know, I don't see anybody throughout the day, so I had to let it out. We love you all. Good night. Shabbat shalom. Atzlachar to everyone. Good night.